that gay bunch. G'day guys, it's Monday again on that gay bunch. Um, to prevent the problem I had last week, I, as you can see, I normally take my camera like out and about because my room's really weird to film in, like the lights, it always looks really dark and, and retarded, so, plus I love being outside, so my camera just follows me, but um, last week I just, I went to Sydney, as you saw, and um, I didn't recap on watching everyone's videos just before I did mine, so I kind of forgot the questions a little bit, sorry Caleb. Anyway. This week I thought I'd write a list because when I come out and about I'll remember everyone's questions and um, I forgot to bring the list so again we'll go off the top of my head. Right again. I just want to say I loved your intro. It's Wednesdays and that means I'm halfway through the week and so are you. That was cool. And I also want to say I love this new term, hot mess. Now Caleb was totally looking like a hot mess with, with the hair. And, and Sam, you look like a hot mess with bags under your eyes and, and you know, only getting sleep since 2am and hot mess is officially like my term of the week. <sighs> hot mess. Am I, am, do I qualify as a hot mess guys? Because I, I want to be a hot mess too. Look, I haven't done my hair. Does that count? Right again. You were asking us about our jobs or, or school or, or such and as we're all aware because I'm like a billion years old and I'm, you know, I need my walking stick and all that jazz. Um, I don't do school anymore. I finished my, uh, it's, I finished my, my college, which we actually call university here. And I noticed when you go, by the way, when you look at American culture, like here on Australian TV, you've got things like NYU, which I assume is New York University, but you, you call it college over there. We just call it university. We're pretty slow here in Australia. But now I finished all my school and um, I now have two jobs at the moment. And I've been waiting for someone to ask this, and um, I decided instead of just you know letting you know, I thought I'd try and sneak my camera into work. But um, here's the first sneak peek, anyway. A law firm. Okay, thanks, bye. Yeah, I know I work in a law firm. Could you imagine what I do at the law firm is conveyancing, which is like property law. So I like assist clients in buying like houses, buying and selling their, their homes and also like businesses, so like like contract law, like if you want to buy like a, a cafe or a real estate egg, like buying a business, I do the, like the legal work behind that. But um, I've also got a second job as well because I'm trying to put my money together at the moment and it's quite the opposite from, um, from the law firm, so just have a quick look. My second job's at a burger shop. And, like, you, you <laughs> A burger shop? I'll be flipping burgers in no time, y'all. I work at a burger shop that um, my, one of my really closest friends of a half owns it. And um, in between legal jobs, I, I kind of, yeah, I had a drama with my old law firm. They, they went broke and closed down and then I was out of a job for a couple of months. And I really couldn't find any legal work with this whole economy thing. But um, I got a job in the meantime, just part-time at my friend's other half's burger shop. And um, then I found a legal job a full time a really good one anyway and I just kind of kept that job so now I've got two jobs which kind of sucks because I've never got any free time the only actual free time I have I spend with you guys because I work like from you know I get up at 7 and I go straight to work and work all day till 5 and then I go straight to the burger shop and I work till like 11 or 12 and that's every day so my free time I spend with you guys I want some extra kisses okay was asking us about our favourite book um, and I, I think that's really cool that like you, you collect copies of Wuthering Heights. There's actually this movie, it's an American movie but it's got an Australian girl in it, Isla Fisher and it was called Definitely Maybe and um, it came out like last year, I think it's on DVD now anyway and um, she actually collected copies of Jane Eyre and she had like heaps of copies of them so um, I thought it was really cool and then when I saw that you, you had copies as well I'm like yeah that's, that's cool, no I'm, I'm joking, that's cool. Um, I don't actually have a copy of my favourite book, but um, as I've said previously, my flatmates that I live with come from California. Um, they're from San Diego, just FYI. And um, we, were we had the same discussion on my books. And I said my favourite book was a book by a guy called S. He Hinton. It's called The Outsiders. And they're like, oh, we all read that in school, y'all. 
that's we have to read that in school and we do like projects and assignments on it and you have to read it and I'm like we, no one else in Australia has even heard of this book but it's my favorite book and um yeah that's my favorite book and um, I've actually got some of these other books as well which are really good like Hawks Harbor and um there's another thing that was similar yeah the Rumblefish which was, wasn't a prequel or a sequel, but it was along the same lines as The Outsiders. And um, I've actually got The Outsiders on DVD too. They made a movie of it, so um, it'd be my favourite book. Damn. Welcome to the group. You wanted that gee bunch now, y'all? Don't know why, where this accent's coming from. I just have to say very big welcome to Sam, and we're very happy to have you. And thank you for taking our Friday spots. Starbucks. Now, we do have Starbucks in Australia. Um, we actually have one on, where I live in Brisbane, we've got, I think we've only got three or four, like Brisbane's the biggest city, I think it's like three, three and a half million people live in Brisbane, so it's not a tiny city, but um, yeah, we only have like three or four Starbucks. My favourite Starbucks is a large double shot skinny soy caramel latte two sugars takeaway. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, I like the caramel macchiato. Um, Please tell me if my American accent annoys you guys, because I really want to learn American accent, but I know that I failed. But no, a caramel macchiato is the bomb, and it's venti. I don't get the sizes there. Why don't you just call them like large and small? Like, what's this venti and grande? And I don't. Is there a reference behind that that I don't get? I don't know. All right, Dan, it's time for you. I think because I'm a bit older, you would think that I'd have a good life lesson to share. I, I do. When I was 18, 19, I moved to the Gold Coast from where I grew up and it was like an 18 hour drive. Like it is opposite sides of the country, not opposite sides of the country, but it's an 18 hour drive. So it's pretty far away. And um, I wanted to go to law school and, and become a lawyer. And so I got up to Queensland and I didn't have good enough grades to get into law school. So um, I kind of just bummed around for a couple of years. I just, I worked at Subway. Um, and just cafes and I just bummed around and we went out clubbing and I didn't save any money or do anything and um, I could have been studying and, and getting into the law that I am now, I'm 24 now and I've only been doing law like three or four years but um, I think the thing is enjoy, enjoy your, your youth like I think I'd regret finishing school and then getting just working in a law firm the next year like I didn't I had two or three years where I was a bit of a bum and I just went out clubbing with mates and we just drank a lot and had parties and just did stupid stuff and road trips and and shit like that and and I don't regret doing that a lot of my friends and stuff have gone and um just gone straight from from high school to, to college and I just I had a fun couple of years and I'm not saying put off your uni studies like if you go straight from high school to college that's cool but Okay, what is my life lesson? Babbling big time. Don't put off what you want to do. Like, don't delay it. Don't just get caught up in like a, a period where you're just in limbo and you just, your life's on pause. Like, if you want to do something, just go for it. Yeah, I don't regret that, but... Okay. Life lesson. Don't put off doing what you want to do. Just do it. Anyway, I'm not going on any vacations for a while now, Caleb. <laughs> um, I don't even go on vacations that often. Like I have, um, I have two jobs, so like I don't have time to bloody scratch my ass, let alone do anything. No, that's yeah, that's not hot mess material, is it? Someone has to graduate me to hot mess status, please. Anyone? My question to everyone is, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'm doing law now and I want to be a lawyer but um like even if you're still in school or, or still in college or you don't know I mean what do you want to do with your life anyway I'll catch you all next week and um have a happy Monday have a happy week and um some more kisses for Caleb and, and kisses for Dan and Rod and Sam and everyone else out there. A large double shot Sydney Koi. Yeah.